Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Uh, this week we're going to be going over a uh, property of bilinear and quadratic forms, which is a uh, principle of linear algebra um, that you might uh, find interesting. Um, and if you don't know what a bilinear form is and you clicked on this video to find out, I'll tell you what it is and you can uh, get to work on the problem. Uh, and then come back to the video. So a bilinear form B on V, which is a vector field uh, over some field F, takes two variables in V to F. Uh, so a concrete example that's used all the time is the dot product. Um, takes two, two variables, uh, V and V, uh, and V to F, so to a scalar field. Um, but they don't have to be vectors per se, they could be functions, so V could be like a, a, field, a vector field of functions or of really anything, could be of elephants or apples or uh, any like abstract mathematical concept that follows the axioms of a vector space. Uh, but anyways, a bilinear form, if you just look at it, it's bilinear, so you have uh, both of them are linear in their own respect, so that means that it satisfies these three axioms. And you might see these first two written as one, but I've broken them up for the sake of this video. So b of u plus v comma w is equal to b of u comma uh, w plus b of v uh, and w. Uh, that means that if we fix if we fix v, we have uh, if we fix V, we have this one, and then we fix W, we have that first one. Uh, we can also pull out scalars and switch um, our variables around. So the problem is, given a, um, given a quadratic form uh, of, a, of any vector uh, in, in V, uh, find the bilinear form of any combination of vectors. Uh, so a quadratic form is simply uh, a quadratic form is simply bilinear form when you take the two of the same uh, variables. So we're going to choose strategically uh, a vector in V that we can uh, that we can manipulate to find a combination of uh, vectors in our bilinear form. Uh, and we notice that a lot of, that this one particular, this axiom particularly has to do with addition. And we also notice that um, it gives us, it kind of splits it up nicely. And since uh, vector spaces are closed under addition, we know that we know that q of uh, that our vector v plus w is also in our vector space. So we're going to take the quadratic form of v plus w, uh, manipulate it, see if we can find our combination of vectors and the bilinear form of those vectors. So what I've done here is taken the definition of our quadratic form and written it as a bilinear form uh, of our two vectors, or of our vectors, which is v plus w. And we can break this up if we just, so this, we know this is just one vector. Uh, so we can break this up as we did, as we do in this axiom. So First, first we fix, what did, what did I do? First I fix V, so I have V plus W and then W. Uh, so first, yeah, first I fix V, so I have V comma V plus W plus W comma V plus W. 
Then I do the same thing, but the other way around to get this, which looks nice because we have a couple quadratic forms and we have um, a bilinear form of a combination of vectors, which is very nice. And so we're going to solve for this bilinear form of our combination of vectors uh, in terms of quadratic forms of any number of uh, or any number of vectors, because we know every uh, quadratic form. So what I've done here, I've subtracted the quadratic form of w and the quadratic form of v from this here side, which is where we started. Um, and we have, two, we have two times the bilinear form of v comma w. We divide both sides by 2. And now we have a bilinear form of a combination of two distinct vectors. Uh, that we got to from a quadratic form of one of our vectors in our vector space. Um, so we can, we can now transition between quadratic and bilinear forms um, if we know all the quadratic forms in a vector space. Um, so thank you for watching. That's it for this video. Um, if you want to see a playlist of more problems of the week, you can click a link here. You can also find a uh, link to our to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find our website where you can find all sorts of math content. Uh, we even have a linear algebra book, a linear algebra book on our website, which you should check out if you're interested in vector um, vector spaces and this, all those sorts of fun stuff. If you're on a mobile device, of course, these links can be found in a card up in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.